are you? I'm Steve Lacey. Steve, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you. Neptune Records. This is awesome. What can you tell the people about this guitar right here? Oh, nice. <laughs> this photo, okay. This is my first guitar here. It's a Strat that I got um, in a box set. With It came with an amp and this strap. And yeah, it was the coolest thing ever. Didn't stay tuned. But fun fact about this guitar on the cover of Dark Red, I took a photo with it and I was like scraping it on the floor because I wanted it to look like Relic, but I understood that Relic takes more than that. It's a whole other process. But yeah, I know this guitar. How did you decorate it? Is that a van sticker? It is a van sticker, yeah. I put some other stickers on there. I forgot what that one was, but yeah, you know, some fun stickers. Yeah, I was like 10 or 11 here. You also had like a Rickenbacker 330? Yeah, I do. I do. The black one. Yeah. What's the history on that? Like, why did I get it? Or where is it from? And why did you get it? I got it from Guitar Center. And I got it because I think, yeah, I was obsessed with R. Stevie Moore at the time. And I know he played it. And those tones, you know, like the Beatles and all that stuff. And yeah, I knew I just like loved it and how it sounded. And then once I played it, I was like, oh, whoa, this is a game changer. Because basically how I buy guitars is if I play it and I create something right away, then I buy it. So I like to think that the guitar creates the songs, not me. And speaking of R. Stevie Moore, I have a gift for you. An R. Stevie Moore record from 1986. Yep, yep, yep. Could you elaborate a bit more on R. Stevie Moore and a Rickenbacker sound? Um, yeah, I don't know. I like him. He's wonky and weird. And he was like one of the first, I don't know, like at home music makers with like his gear and stuff. Yeah. The song Some is actually inspired by R. Stevie Moore too. There's a song called, um, Do You Feel About the Same? Um, when, you know, it was like him singing with the guitar and he's doing that. And then, so I want to do that on my, on my song. Yeah, I love R. Stevie. And that's a gift for you, some R. Stevie Moore from 86. There we go. You know, for my Grammy gift to myself, I bought like a really nice record player, like tube, you know, record player and stuff. So this is going to be played right when I get home. And you are Steve? Lacey. Steve, the song Curse, did that occur because you got a organ pedal for Christmas? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yeah. How did that work? <laughs> the organ pedal? Um, yeah, you just play chords and it sounds like a freaking organ. It's crazy. I should use that more. I only use it on that one song and I just like never touched it because I was like, well, I can't top that song. So just leave it in the closet. I should try it out again. <laughs> yeah. The Caterpillar with Cheyenne. Uh-huh. Yeah. What about that? Steve Lacey, The Caterpillar. <laughs> and the Caterpillar. Yeah. What? <laughs> you know, I told myself, you know, when he does some crazy facts, I'm going to like act like not surprised, but that's actually pretty shocking. Yeah, the Caterpillar. I had my first kiss in the Caterpillar with this girl named Cheyenne at Optimal Christian Academy. I'm not going to ask you how you found out. Well, you're Steve Lacey. We have to know. Steve Lacey, quote, you're really working with your... You're really working with your... Resources. Resources. Cody Freestyle. Yeah. And speaking of resources, pictures. Pictures are an important resource, aren't they? Oh, Lord, why are you... Yes. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, explain... Are those vans? <laughs> These, yeah, I think they are vans, actually. I got them from the vans outlet, you know. I used to be sh shopping on a budget. Yeah, here, you know, I got this all gold dope ring. You know, I was a big fan of um, Taz Arnold. Um, when I was in high school and he used to wear these, uh, you know, like the Tisa, like four finger rings. And this is a vintage leather jacket that I got from my mom. And these glasses, probably got it from Urban Outfitters or something. Yeah, there we go. What were you listening to in that era? 
in this era. This was like Saw Ra, Thundercat, Jay Davey, you know, all the LA, like, you know, funk, weird people, jazz, Blue Bossa, and Black Narcissus, and Spain, and all that type of stuff. All the stuff I was playing in high school at the time. I think I was in the ninth grade here. And I have a gift for you, Steve. Some Sara, a Sara record. What can you say about Sara? Man, this is LA, LA legends, LA history. You know, Thundercat was behind a lot of this stuff too. Omas, you know, Shafiq, Taz, you know, they're great dudes. They made some amazing music. Yeah, this is some of my favorite stuff right here. I know these songs. And you know your resources. Yeah, I love it. Steve Lacey, 14 feet. 9.25 inches, which tied you with Amari Fisher, a long jump record. Yeah. Speed City. Yeah. That's incredible. You did long jump. What's long jump like? Triple jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It was cool. Yeah. Wow. What? Jalen Red. Yeah. Yeah. Cam Smith. Uh huh. Speed City. Yeah. You did like the 100, the 200, and the 400. That ain't easy. Yeah, I did. It was cool. It wasn't my calling, but I had fun. It gave me the body that I have today. Do you remember your time? Because that ain't easy. Like the four times 400, that's really tiring. Yeah, I hated it. One time my coach like punished me and he put me in the 800 meter dash. What's your time for the 400 though? I don't remember. I wasn't that good. Well, to make the team, you must have been good. No, you should, you can just kind of join. No, I've tried to do 400. I am useless. I get lapped. You must have been pretty damn good. For four by 400. Come on. I guess I was okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't remember my time. But you practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays, though, right? Yeah, I guess so. Where's you? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you are Steve. Lacey. And you have the song Thang. Thangs. Thangs, yeah. And you sample, and I have a gift for you right here, an original what? Parliament 7-inch from 1969. Wow, yeah. Produced? By George Clinton. Wow, this is dope. And you read his book as well. Yeah, I was reading it. I didn't finish it, but yeah. How do you know I was reading that book? Well, you are Steve Lacey. We have to know. <laughs> And Steve, on your record, you have Kareem play. Kareem Riggins, yeah, sure do. And he also played on a Dilla record. Yeah, no, yeah. The It's funny, the Keep Your Body Moving drum loop I sampled a long time ago. So the song She Only Wants to Get Down on the internet record, which is like a hidden track. That The original beat was actually made on the Kareem Riggins loop, so it was full circle that I got to work with him on Sunshine. And I have a gift for you, a J. Dilla picture disc. Whoa, get out of here. From 2001 for your turntable, a picture disc. That's insane. Wow. And normally I take off the wrapping, but I didn't want to scratch it. Whoa, that's rad. What the hell? Damn, thank you. This is dope. Uh, no problem. Jay Dilla. It's amazing having a connection. And also, Dilla sampled R. Stevie Moore. Oh, that's funny. Shouts out Jay Dilla. Kareem Riggins. And that's a gift for you. Thank you. Oh, so many cool gifts. Thanks, man. You are Steve... Lacey. Steve Lacey. I have some Steve Lacey to give you from 1993. What can you say about Steve Lacey, Steve Lacey? <laughs> Um, I know that I'm always confused. Our music is always meshed together on like Spotify and stuff. And I was like, damn it, I just got to get more famous than this Steve so we can get a separated thing. But I actually never listened to the other Steve Lacey, so I have to give it a, a check. Well, he's a legendary sax man. I know, I hear. Now, this is kind of later, from 93, but he was actually around in the era of Thelonious Monk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know Thelonious Monk. And Thelonious Monk actually had some advice for Steve Lacey. What did he say to him? He said, quote, Stop playing all that bullshit. Those weird notes play the melody. Sick. Stay in shape. I like that. Look as sharp as possible. Dope. This again is Thelonious Monk to Steve Lacey and... You've got to dig it 
to dig it, you dig. That's good. And that was Steve Lacey's advice from Thelonious Monk. Was that sober advice, do you know? I'm not sure exactly, but I do know I have a gift for you right here. An Art Blakely LP from 1958. This is sick. I love the colors on there. And a booklet, a 12-page booklet for you to get the history. That's amazing. Thank you. This is awesome. Yeah, what can you say about Thelonious Monk? Um, so the Thelonious Monk Institute actually used to come to Washington Prep when I was going there. And they used to just teach us different things about jazz and how to play and scales. And yeah, just taught us jazz history. And it was really good. I learned a lot through them. And Steve, the internet, this picture by Jabari Jacobs. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Look at that. That's me there. Did you know you had the picture when the picture was taken? Oh, at this point, you know, I was just kind of down for the ride. I didn't really know what was going on. I think it was all just Matt and Sid just to say, cool, we got it. But I was just chilling. It's an incredible photo. Do you remember anything about the actual day at all? Like lining everybody up? That's incredible. Jabari did such a good job. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, I don't, I kind of remember this day, but barely. Barely. I was so young and excited and I don't know. And the photo lives on. Yeah. I think I was like 17 here. Good times. Three Spice Thai Chicken. Yeah, in Gardena. I love that place. What are the favorite foods of Steve Lacey? Oh, uh, from Three Spice, I love the green beans, the shrimp fried rice, and Pat you with chicken. Once a week? No, not that often. I used to go to Cane's once a week. What was the order there? Uh, at that time, I used to get really stoned. So it was like a box combo, like four chicken strips with fries and extra toast. And another, an extra toast instead of coleslaw. And uh, I would do the half lemonade and then get like Arnold Palmer. And then I put Sprite in it. When you feel good, is there a dance you do? Um, no, just like movement. Like I like bounce my knees probably. Or like I'll just run. Or just like say dumb jokes. So like if somebody's looking at you on stage, how do they know you're having a good time? Um, maybe if I smile or say something stupid, yeah. And how do they know if you're having a bad time? I'm probably smashing a camera down on the floor. <laughs> no, they won't know. But I'm also very vocal about it. I'm like, you know. I'll say some shit like, bear with me, you guys. This is a rough night. <laughs> I don't I don't hide. I have a gift for you. A clean boost pedal. Well, this is dope. Made from a 1970s Studer tape machine. Wow, thank you. I'm going to use this. I love this. I use a lot of pedals. This is from Adam from Satellite Amps in San Diego. He makes pedals, and I got him to make a clean boost pedal based on Steve Lacey's music. Wow. Thank you, Adam. This is great. Winding up here, Steve Lacey, I have another gift for you. Lastly, a Raphael Sadiq oh, LP. Dope. From 1990. This is dope. What can you say about Tony, 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 and Raphael? Well, I know about the Tonys. Well, I grew up here in the Tonys, but I'm a big fan of Raphael. And yeah, he's like one of my mentors, kind of. He's awesome. What has he said to you? He tells me a lot of things. His most recent advice was he told me congrats and uh, always take out my trash. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, he's great. How did you meet him? I met Rafael. Okay, I met him in the parking lot at the Echo. I was playing some music in the car with Jamil. This was like, it had to be like five or six years ago or something. We were playing music, and then we got out the car, and this man was walking by. He said, yo, that's jamming. And I was like, thanks, man. I was like, wait, was that Rafael Sadiq? <laughs> <laughs> and since so I think I screamed, or Jamil screamed, Raphael, and he looked back, and then I think uh, Jamil was like, "It's me," because I guess Raphael known Jamil since he was like a baby. So yeah, that was my first interaction with Sadiq. Yeah. So you were playing music? Yeah, we were listening like some beats or something in the car, <laughs> or just yeah, that was it. He has good ears. Yeah, he does. Well, we were playing it pretty loud as well, but yeah. 
Steve Lacey, lastly, what do you think about this sped up version of Bad Habit that's circulating on TikTok? Hey, you know, that's what's up. <laughs> I don't really have any thoughts. I don't really... Did you envision that happening or did you think, oh, I could have done this in the studio? Not at all, you know, but, you know, I let the streets do what they need to do. Like for your next record, do you think you'll have a sped up version on the B side? A lot of times they have like instrumental TV tracks or a cappella versions. Do you think you'll have a sped up version to beat the bootleggers? You know, I think I only do a sped up version if I'm number two again. Because that was the reason I did it in the first place, because I want to be number one. Well, thanks so much, Steve Lacey. Really appreciate you coming to Neptune Records here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thanks for having me, Norwell. This is great. Anything else you'd like to add to the people out there at all? Doop, 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 doop. Not quite. <laughs> I try to beat you to the punch. Okay. I was curious, though. Why should people care about Steve Lacey? Why should people care? Um, because I don't force you to care. And I want you to care if you want to. Um, and I think because I care. Also, I really do care about music and honesty and, uh, you know, just collective consciousness and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I care. That's all I could say. Um, yeah. Well, thanks so much, Steve Lacey. Keep on washing your hands in the free world, and Do, 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 do. Cool.